What's up, tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. Marty Fish has slimmed down, but the Fish story just keeps growing bigger. Fish fought off 32-year-old Arnaud Clément, the oldest man left in the singles draw, in a five-set thriller to surge into the U.S. Open fourth round for the second time in the last three years. Fish stirred the Armstrong Stadium crowd into a frenzy and is now one win removed from his second trip to the quarterfinals. You get goosebumps. No doubt this is one of the best courts in the world, Fish said. The Cincinnati finalist has won 19 of his last 21 matches and will face a familiar face in the fourth round. Fish awaits the winner of tonight's match between third seeded Novak Djokovic and James Blake. Fish and Blake are longtime golfing buddies and former neighbors, and the 19th seeded Fish is good friends with Djokovic as well. I'll watch the match tonight for sure, Fish said. Obviously, I'll root for James a little bit more. Novak is a friend too, but James is a best friend. The great debate continues. World number one Rafael Nadal is bidding to complete the career Grand Slam and win his first U.S. Open. If Nadal wins the U.S. Open, he will become the first man since Rod Laver in 1969 to hold Roland Garros, Wimbledon, and the U.S. Open titles simultaneously. And given his mastery of Roger Federer, could Nadal, who is only 24, eventually surpass the Swiss stylist for the mythical title of the greatest of all time? Nadal said he's playing for the Open and not history. While Nadal consistently defers to 16-time Grand Slam champion Federer as the greatest of all time, Federer himself said today if Nadal wins the career slam and finishes, he is on pace to possibly be the greatest of all time. Clearly, he has a chance because he's young enough, Federer said. Obviously, I guess he would need to win the US Open to put himself there. He's won the Olympics, done amazing things, so he'll have a shot at it for sure. On a day in which number four seed Yelena Yankovic became the highest seeded woman to fall from the field, top seeded Caroline Wozniacki and number 14 seed Maria Sharapova both registered roots to set up a blockbuster quarterfinal between two of the most photogenic players in women's tennis. It's Waz versus Shaz, the runner versus the ripper, Adidas versus Nike, the smile versus the shriek. The contrasting styles and personality should make this a compelling clash, and the winner of the Wozniacki versus Sharapova match could go on to win the U.S. Open. A willful Wozniacki has dropped just three games and three tournament wins and owns a 17-1 record since Wimbledon. She has scored shutouts in three of the six sets she played, and if she wins this U.S. Open, she will replace Serena Williams as the world number one. So how does Caroline view her match with Maria? I think we're different players, Wozniacki said. I feel like I'm maybe moving a bit better. I don't know. I'm placing the balls better a little bit, but she's maybe hitting the balls harder. I don't know. You know, she has won Grand Slams. I haven't. Not to be outdone, Sharapova has won 12 out of 14 matches since Wimbledon. The three-time Grand Slam champion has a well-earned reputation as one of the game's fiercest fighters and will try to take the first strike against the speedier Wozniacki. They have only met twice with the 23-year-old Russian holding a 2-0 edge. And this fourth rounder will be a showcase of Russian's power versus the Dane's speed, with Wozniacki catching up as many balls on the baseline, trying to force the aggressive Sharapova to make errors. She can run all day and get a lot of balls back and make you hit a ton of balls, Sharapova said. She changes the pace really well and gets her opponents off balance. She does many things well, you know. That's why she's at the top of the game. Well, that wraps us up for today. Be sure to head to the Tennis Now homepage to check out our parody of the U.S. Open fight. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to the Tennis Now YouTube channel. I'm Lauren Lynch and this is Tennis Now. See you tomorrow.